Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 as Ethiopia. So, I made a few deals, so now I'm up to 2600 gold. Should come in handy. I can actually buy a few tiles. Like some of these. We'll see. Anyway, right now we can start one more city. My settler is already in position. It won't be a super amazing city, but it will be decent enough. And yeah, we'll grab a monument first and then holy site after that. Can we actually get a decent one? Well, not really. It will maybe get plus one bonus later. And I might actually fade by a builder in here. That's 305 fate. Yep, let's do that. We are up to 104 fate per turn. That is quite a lot. Let's see where this storm is going to move. Not towards me, hopefully. Well, it is moving towards me. Oh, yep, great. It moved over my encampment, so now it's pillaged. Fine, we'll repair it. No problem. Can we buy any tiles around New York? Nope. I might pick up the discount again. Land surveyors. We can do that in one turn. We will also unlock cords in one turn. And I already got a few units. I can merge. And I'll be moving traders to the Great Zimbabwe city. Hopefully we'll actually finish it successfully. We should. I don't think I have a lot of competition for it. And we can still save a turn or two. So, that's a shrine. Right, let's grab our unique building. How much for an apostle? Should be around 500. 520. I might grab one. Or I could get an Inquisitor. Let's get an Apostle and spread our religion a little bit more. That's always extra money. Alright, so that's that. One more turn for nationalism. I will need more units, but one step at a time. Anything else? Five more builds. Yeah, let's just grab a few farms here. House food in this city. 5.5 and 9 out of 11 housing. Yeah, let's get two more farms. That's going to be plus one housing. And a bunch of improvements around here. How are great people? We got a great scientist coming up. Is he actually any good? Let's see. Oh yeah, that will reveal oil without the normal technology requirement. I think I'm going to grab him, because I'm not quite close to revealing oil. I'm not super far away, but... Yeah, I'm several technologies away still. It would be nice to know where oil is exactly. Let's get him then. I can even spend the faith. We are getting 19 points per turn. No, there's no need. We'll get him on the next turn regardless. It's not like there's a huge rush. Right, next civic. What is that going to be? Yeah, probably mercantilism, then civil engineering, and then urbanization. Can we get a great merchant? Probably not. No, that's not happening. <laughs> not now, not ever. How about a coal power plant? I am getting six coal per turn, so that's probably worth it. Yeah, I would like this city to grow. It's still growing a little bit. What else can we get? Commercial hub. How about a harbor? Because I wanted to get a harbor for this city. I still want to get land surveyors. Let's maybe pick that up. What was this? Was that a discount? I think so. I got conscription. We got loyalty. Let's move professional army up here. National identity? No, I don't need that. So let's pick up land surveyors, shall we? Yes, let's. And I'm keeping everything else. What does nationalism unlock again? Oh yeah, these two policies. Okay, fair enough. And we got another governor title. I could pick up grants or I could pick up vertical integration. Yup. Where's Magnus right now anyway? 
in Harar. He can stay here. That's fine. Workshop and then factory. I still need the bananas. And let's get some cores, shall we? Let's take a look. How's experience? 22 out of 45. So you guys can merge. And we can merge some crossbowmen. These guys are only level 2. We can definitely merge bombards. But I think I'll just merge the crossbowmen. Yeah, these guys are only level 2. It's not really a big deal. Okay, there you go. And we got mobilization boost. Nice. So, six turns to finish the Great Zimbabwe. I can maybe save one more turn. Or we'll just get a mine. Yep, just get a mine. And send to the trade route. Probably to Teddy. It's not going to be an amazing trade route. But I don't want it to go through Alexander's territory. I could send it to the Mongols. That looks safe. Reasonably safe. Okay, let's do that then. Off you go. That's a pretty long trade route. I still got quite a few wonders I could build. I'm actually leaning towards building the Venetian arsenal. I can build it up here. This is the only city I can currently build it in, and it has pretty decent production. So it's probably worth it. Yeah, it's going to be 19 turns, regardless of how I split production. Okay, let's build it. I don't really plan getting a large navy in this game, but it's a nice wonder, as long as we build a few ships. It will be worth it. One more farm. How about some food up here? Right, let's get that cow first. I'm just going to buy it. And what else do we want to buy? Probably the ship. Like so. And let's wait one turn to reveal oil. If there's some oil in range I can buy, then I will definitely do that. There we go. And let's pop him right away. That also gives us ballistics boost. Okay, I actually needed that. And electricity boost. Nice. Where's oil? Come on. Is there none inside my territory? Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, there's one over here, but that's slightly out of range. Hey, that gives me yet another reason to go to war with Alexander. Which I was already planning to do. Is that the only source nearby? Okay, apparently it is. And it will require plastics. Because it's sea-based. There's one up here. This would be a really terrible city, but it's worth it just for the oil alone. I can just have it like here or so. We'll have a few fish in range. We'll have stone in range. Yeah, it will be a terrible city, but I kind of need it. How much faith to buy a settler? 700. I could just wait for that. And then I could buy a settler here. Yes, I lose one population, but it will save me a lot of time. That's probably worth doing. Yep, let's just wait for that then. 700. That's just a few turns away. Do we need another builder? No, we do not. What do we need in here? No need for walls, I don't think so. Technically, I could get a builder and get that copper, for example. And maybe also the deer. And this city could use a few more improvements. Sure. We got a holy site in here. Yeah, that was the unique building that just finished. Now I can get either a harbor or maybe an industrial zone or so. Let's get an industrial zone to improve production. Barracks. Okay, now question is, how long do we want to wait? I could wait for Golden Age and then use Golden Age CB, assuming I will actually get Golden Age, or rather Heroic Age. That is the goal. I need 14 more points, and we have anywhere between 18 and 38 turns. I'm not 
totally sure if I will be able to get it, but I'll try. So let's just grab a few more tiles. Can't go wrong with more lumber mills. And we got the stone, nice. Alright, looks like that's it. Kind of sucks that I don't have more oil. I've been really unlucky with oil recently. Oh well, at least we'll be able to get some. That's the important part. That was the religious emergency, doesn't really matter all that much. And we can pop the scientist one more time. Oh, actually no, we can't, never mind. That's fine. So, two more builds, let's get the bananas. The Great Zimbabwe is almost done. Hopefully nobody is going to beat me to it. They shouldn't, but you never know. Captain Coal. I can probably sell some coal for a decent price. Let's sell, let's say, 20 coal. Uh, hold on, he doesn't actually have the money. Who has the money? Cyrus? He has 300. And he has 11 coal. Okay, let's sell, let's say, 20 coal. I think that's actually 11 coal that I sold to him. Like, right before I started this episode. Okay, how about less than that? This is not an amazing deal. Oh, okay, he doesn't actually want that much. Okay, this is fine. I like this deal. 130 gold for 11 coal. I'll take it. We are at 2300 gold. So, get the bananas. Shame that I can't actually buy this oil here. It's just slightly out of range, unfortunately. Oh well, we'll get it. I'm not too worried about Alexander. Especially once we get observation balloons. That's currently the goal. And this is some easy error score as well, if I get a biplane. I should have enough time. We got at least 15 turns. I will need a biplane ASAP. Armory next. I can also get some error score by building the military academy. Because that will be all the buildings in an encampment for the first time, which is some era score. We should be able to get Heroic Age. Flight is almost done. I will need an aerodrome first. Not quite sure which city is going to build that, but we'll see. Right, factory next. Now, do we build industrial zone or a campus? in this city, because I cannot currently build both. I'll need 13 population. Uh, actually, no, hold on, I can build both. Right. So what's the best industrial zone we can build? I can get a plus three, but that would involve removing the forest with a lumber mill. I don't necessarily want to do that. Oh, hold on, I was going to get a plus four theater square, right. Let's do that then. I can start renaissance walls. And my spy failed, unfortunately. But he evaded capture. That's the important part. I might actually keep him inside my territory now. Do we get Babylon back? Hey, hold on, I never actually had it. Right, let's save the envoys. I do have six. But we got four city-states, and I want to keep all of them, if possible. One last build. Uh, was this going to be like a district? No, I don't think so. This wasn't going to be anything. We can get a farm. I still need a dam somewhere on this river. I think it will have to be here. We'll see later. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I'm not interested. King Where Solomon is Teddy going with that settler? Well, anyway, we got the Great Zimbabwe. We also got some more era score. And that's flight. So that will improve my trade routes a lot. Let's see. Yeah, plus 18 is not that great for a city with Great Zimbabwe, but that's alright. 
that basically doubled that trader's value though. Now, where do we build an aerodrome? I can't quite build it here, unfortunately, and I still need to repair the government plaza. We can build it in Harar, and that will only take four turns. But I will have to build it on the forest or so. What other city has decent production? 54. This city actually has higher production. So we could build it up here on the desert. That's probably the best option. Oh wait, no, that's a hill, isn't it? And no, it's not. It kind of looked like a hill, but it's not a hill. So let's build it up here. Yep. Theater Square can wait. I am still getting that, but I need an aerodrome ASAP. And then I need a biplane ASAP. So let's harvest the wheat, shall we? Yes, let's do that. That should give me 11 population easily, and then we still need to improve the fish. What do we research next? Something that will help my era score. I could unlock railroad and then connect two cities, that's worth some era score. I don't think I have the time to build two shipyards, unless I literally buy them. I am about to finish one shipyard, I'm not sure if this is the first one or the second one. Let's maybe check. Oh yeah, that's the second shipyard, good. So then we can get a railroad, that will be worth some era score. I just need to get a military engineer, which I should have enough time for. I just need to get the armory. So we'll finish the armory and then we'll get a military engineer. I don't know how much time I have. We got anywhere between 13 and 33 turns, and I need that heroic age because I deliberately stayed in the Dark Age to get a Heroic Age next. That was the plan. So I need this to work. It should work, but really, it depends on how much time we have. I might still be able to make it if it's 13 turns, but I hope it's more than 13 turns. If I have to, I can always just buy some unit to get era score, like the biplane. I could do that. Right, let's harvest the wheat, that's 111 food, so that's 11 population right away. Then we can get the fish. We can also remove the Django to speed this up a little bit. It should save me one turn at least. Get the factory. And how about a theater square or so? Over here? I mean, it's not going to be an amazing one, but I think I have like a grand total of one theater square, literally. That's all I have. So let's just build one over here. Because I'll need that for archaeologists. And I'll want at least one art museum. Granary. Yeah, let's grab a granary, that's fine. Come on, give me my era score. You want to buy Niter? I suppose I could sell you some, sure. How much will he actually give us? 100 is good. I can always use the money. World Congress? That doesn't concern me, apparently. Military emergency failed against Germany, alright? So, remove that. Uh, that wasn't even enough to save one turn. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. Uh, do we improve this? I could get a little bit of culture, but it's not going to be a huge amount. Probably best to get a farm for now, but... The plan is to get a theater square over here. It's just that I'm not building the theater square yet. Because I'm busy getting my era score. Uh, let's buy that copper over there. Okay. Alliance expired. Oh, right. Let's renew our alliances. And the creations of friendship. So this was a research alliance. Yeah, let's keep up with the research alliance, that's fine. Especially since I already have trade routes with him. Cultural alliance with Dido. And that's basically it. And the religious alliance with the Mongols. Alright then. Oh, Argali finished exploring, apparently. 
let's go back into our territory and maybe upgrade it to an actual proper ship. Here. I will also need some more units before I go to war with Alexander, but we are not going to war just yet. Right now I'm working to get my Heroic Age. Once we get that, we can use Golden Age CB. That will save me a lot of grievances. There's the spy. I'm keeping him inside my territory now. Not quite sure what I'm going to protect. We need as many districts right next to each other as possible. So if I keep him on the campus, we'll protect industrial zone, commercial hub and the campus. And also the city center. I like that, let's do that. So off you go. And we got an engineer. Triggers Eureka moment for computer technology. Let's this city build one more district than the population limit allows. So I will be able to pop this guy twice because we have mausoleum at Halicarnassus. This is probably worth it. Especially since I built so many holy sites. In my regular games I usually skip holy sites. Yeah, let's get him. That limit increase will definitely be useful. Especially for cities with harbors. Like this one. This city absolutely needs that. Especially since it doesn't even have 13 population and I was building the aerodrome. Okay, so now we need the biplane. Oh yeah, I actually need oil for that, damn it. Well, hold on, I was going to fight by a settler. I kind of forgot about that. Let's do that then. I might still have enough time. How much time do we have? Okay, we got at least 10 turns. I think I have enough time. I'll just have to buy the biplane. That's the worst case scenario, I suppose. I think in order to buy the biplane... Let's build the hangar. That's six turns. Or I could get that theater square. That will give me error score because that will be plus four theater square. We'll get that and then we'll get the hangar. Sounds good. They finished the university. We only need a few more era score points. I should have enough. As for this city, yeah, that's going to be a campus probably. On the desert. Yeah, let's build it on flat desert because that's an otherwise useless tile. We do have a holy site, I'm just checking. Uh, six builds. Yeah, let's get a mine here and then mine on the copper. Nah, I'm keeping my niter for now. Steam power boost should finish right about now. So we'll get steam power right now. And we also got mercantilism. Which means I can get triangular trade. Yep, let's grab that. Down here. Where is it? I'm keeping land surveyors for now. I might still need it. Uh, I will still need it. And let's keep a professional army as well. So that's going to be... Well, I could build a campus. Might be worth getting a builder first. To remove that jungle. Yep. And let's upgrade that archer. We should also upgrade the scouts. Yeah, might as well. Or just keep them in here for now to save the money. We can get the scout court. <laughs> okay, sure, why the heck not? That's pretty funny. No idea what Teddy is doing with that settler, but whatever floats his boat. Okay, now we need a military engineer. That's five turns. I still got at least ten turns, hopefully more than that. And electricity? Ballistics? What are we actually going for right now? Well, refining. Because I can't improve oil without refining. And I might not have enough time to get that. I can boost it with two coal power plants. But I'll need 12 turns to get refining. Which means I need to have at least 12 turns to get a biplane. I don't think I'll need a biplane, but that's a lot of error score that we can get if I end up missing some error score. We'll pop the engineer here. 
that will give me plus one district for this city and this city definitely needs that since it will have both a harbor and an aerodrome and then some other coastal city we got one more jungle we can remove 18 turns for border growth that's a bit too much and we can also buy the copper all right let's go get that oil shall we we are about to get some more era score that should be plus three i think yeah plus three all right then so i need three more points we should get that easily now i need to connect two cities with a railroad the engineer will do that still no timer so it should be more than 10 turns because there would have been a timer by now as in a specific countdown timer so production now i need a bunch of units let's get an observation balloon because i need that i don't remember if observation balloon actually gives you a score i don't think it does uh, amphitheater right let's grab an amphitheater i can get a trader elsewhere like in my capital here and we'll still get a spy we can get a spy in this city that works all right let's go oh is this a new continent I, I don't think it is not that it matters i'm settling a city over there anyway but we can check if this is a separate continent no it's not because that would also be worth some era score a canal no i don't need that another trader i suppose i can get the trader here and remove him from my capital's production queue okay one more district where do we want to get that well technically i could still get it here but perhaps that's not necessary i'm thinking maybe this city three out of four what does it still need it doesn't have a commercial hub it doesn't have a theater square okay and it doesn't have a harbor so i could get it here i could still pop him here because this city will have both an aerodrome and a harbor and a holy site so like i'll be able to get six districts and then seven once i get 13 population is that an overkill maybe that's overkill what's production at in here 47 hammers okay let's pop him in this one that's good enough then i can get a harbor next go get that copper oh hold on alexander declared war on me really well that's actually not a bad thing that way i will not get grievances in fact it will be the other way around i'm not totally prepared for that but it shouldn't be a problem i don't think so is the knight going to be fine yeah i need to back up with the knight i need to back up with like everything so let's back up and let them come to us yep let them come to us that was slightly unexpected but okay we can deal with that uh, this is not what i wanted to do i need that pike and shot in the front even if he ends up taking a lot of damage he should be okay though yeah he will be okay it's a core so can i take a shot sort of maybe yes we can take a shot let's take a shot at the field cannon bring the other crossbowmen i just need to be careful to not lose them let's keep this guy inside the encampment if he sends some units from this general direction i could also set up the bombard right behind the encampment that's assuming he will send some units from the north which he probably will and once we get the observation balloon i could actually bombard his city from inside my encampment 
and that's the general idea. This was actually very convenient, the fact he declared war on me and not other way around. So pop this guy in here, that's plus one district cap. Yeah, let's upgrade. That will give me more era score, nice. And we got enough, so that's going to be a heroic age. I just need to wait until the next era. Nice. Now we can focus on our actual military. That's what I will be doing. We can get a few units in our capital. It's my highest production city at the moment. So what do we prioritize? Probably another bombard or two. And another crossbowman or two. I need at least two more crossbowmen. So let's get a crossbowman really quick. And then we shall see. Oh, yep, he killed something. A crossbowman. Uh, that wasn't even a core. That was just a regular crossbowman. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's maybe hide inside the city with this guy. I can't actually upgrade him yet because I don't have the technology. You're still not dead. I can kill him with the other pike and shot. Alright, let's do that. And probably back up. This one pike and shot might get killed, but that's just a regular unit. Let's back up. Perhaps move forward with the knight a little bit. I don't really have too many more units in the back. Once I get a biplane, this will be much, much easier. We can also check if there's anything we could pillage with the ironclad. Possibly. And the goal here is to take the city with oil, this one. Loyalty shouldn't be a problem once we enter heroic age. And let's start the city. Probably better if we settle on the river, but then I'll miss out on some sea-based resources. Yeah, this will be better, because we'll get the fish, we'll get the stone, we'll get tobacco. Oh, hi! Dido started the city. Well, good for her, but that's my spot. Yep, my pike and shot almost got killed, but he's still alive. Let's get an See, he's totally bread. fine. That was definitely 100% calculated. Upgrade, I need the firepower. Where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. And another one. Yeah, we might want to back up here. Otherwise, I will get killed. Uh, hold on. A little bit more. I can't quite kill the field cannon. So let's just back up with the knight and upgrade him. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, taking a shot will not kill the field cannon, but it might force it to retreat. If he stays here, I will kill him on the next turn. So I think that was a better course of action. Do we have a timer yet? Nope. So, remove the rainforest, that will speed up the hunger a little bit. And actually, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.